I'm Ramesh Silva, I'm 30 years old, and I'm a human rights statistician. What that basically means is that I apply statistical methods to human rights questions. What happened in large-scale conflicts? Did a lot of volunteer work for, for Amnesty International and that kind of stuff. Kind of led me to look for a career which wasn't a classical mathematical career. There were two main areas which I really got involved in. and One was the escalation of violence in the late 90s in East Timor. And the other one was the ongoing ethnic conflict in Sri Lanka, a um, country where my family's from. I started to develop a love of mathematics late in high school. I'm not sure if it's really the mathematics came first or the human rights came first. I wouldn't say I was necessarily interested in mathematics per se. I think I had a natural bent towards structure. So really what I was interested in is bringing structured thinking towards problems which looked like a jumbled mess. And that's often what these kind of human rights problems look like. Well, I did a Bachelor of Science in Applied Statistics at the University of New South Wales. I did a double degree in Science and Arts and I focused exclusively in Mathematics and Statistics and German Studies. Most of my work is really focused on helping our human rights partners. So, for example, in East Timor, a place where I've done a lot of work over the last few years, there was relatively little data collected throughout the Indonesian occupation. The challenge with working in Sri Lanka has been helping the groups utilise that data using scientific methods rather than creating new data and actually coding it and processing it in a way which is usable by, by professional statisticians. The job definitely involves a lot of travel, which is both really, really interesting, but also extremely tiring. Over the last five years, I've worked in East Timor, Sri Lanka, Palestine, Chad, Guatemala, Colombia. I visit Australia usually two to three times a year. One of the things I do is a lot of interaction with some of the local universities here to try and encourage more people to get involved in some of these non-traditional areas where I think there's definitely a lot of scope to develop some exciting career paths and make a lot of impact around the world. Well, I've been swimming by the Amnesty office here in Sydney to learn a little bit more about some of the campaigns they're running and, and just keep up with what they're doing. Don't think doing a law degree is um, necessary. My advice to prospective human rights statisticians really would be get involved with groups like Amnesty, Human Rights Watch. Statistics is a science and it requires a, a great deal of discipline and training. Behind all of the numbers and the statistics which we develop are hundreds and often thousands and tens of thousands of human lives. This is a fantastic job. It, it's extremely stimulating and I'm having impact um, on important issues, but also starting to change the debate. I think that there was a tendency for human rights groups to just make up numbers because there wasn't really that much empirical data to ground the debate. I've been very pleased with my career choice and my mathematical training. It's, it feels quite pioneering to be part of a field which is fairly nascent. There's still a lot of work to be done. 